looking to buy an entertainer's home in Waterkloof proper? Good afternoon, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back with your favorite tour guide in this stunning and exquisite suburb where we're about to tour this stunning home behind us. As always, specs on the house. This is a six bedroom, six and a half bathroom, four garage home. Without further ado, Marusha. So I'm actually so excited to be back here. Last time we filmed this house, it was literally just uh, completed. It's a brand new home. And what the, the owners have done now is they have fully furnished or mostly fully furnished the house. It is staged beautifully. It does help that uh, the people who built and designed this house are also interior designers. So you will see you're in for a treat. And it is so exciting to see a house that you know, you, sometimes your imagination lacks. Now you can see what you can do with the space. So it's absolutely awesome. Never lived in, so it's still a brand new house, despite the fact that you look at all this furniture and all this furniture you can buy extra, okay? We've now, whilst I've been talking, we've gone through the initial entrance hall and now we're walking down this very wide, very spacious corridor. It gives us a glimpse of the floating staircase that's to come. It gives us a glimpse of all these beams, this metal stark colored beams against the, the, the white walls and opens up into the living spaces and the entertaining spaces. So from the initial entrance, this would be just like a cigar lounge setup or maybe a cocktail lounge setup because we are right across from the kitchen you take some tapas here and then you step into the dining room you have your formal dining under this massive double volume um, height ceiling and absolutely gorgeous windows this is custom made window frames I love again the black frames against all the trees that we see and uh, the stunning light fittings and we're going to see a lot more of that as we go currently an eight seater easy 10 to 12 seater here and on both sides of the dining room we've got views of nature on the one side we have this internal courtyard and what is great about the courtyard is that it is covered as well we have the sound of the water as well as the beauty of the space and if you just walk across you will also see the double volume leading to the third level of this home and a view of the massive garden. Another exciting development since last time we viewed, they've incorporated a second stand into the space. So now you have a double size stand, which is absolutely fitting for this size of property and this magnitude of property. Just to remind you, we're in Waterkloof proper. This is Ambassador Lane and uh, you expect a lot of diplomats to live here, a lot of expats and of course, large uh, South African families. Whilst I've been talking, you've now stepped into the TV room. The ceiling drops immediately just to, to give it that, um, that sense of coziness and a view of yet another entertainment room on the ground floor level or the second ground floor level. Remember, three leveled house, a view of the garden and the sound of water. We have the water from a massive waterfall outside in the garden as well as from the interior courtyard so really magnificent feeling of lightness and nature here we're now into the kitchen this is open plan to the dining room section different uh, uh, textures and different countertops as well as backsplash on the other side again luxury textures the feeling here is this is like the leather feel to this uh, to this countertop a huge island center island and they've brought in again those charcoal dark colors this is mille stovetop as well as a pop-up extractor fan another very very striking light fixture that um, just you know shines a light on your tapas or the cocktails that you're preparing a multitude of drawers and of course all soft clothes naturally but everything in that um, uh, very uh, soft matte charcoal color the same countertop that we saw in the aisle we've got it here and it's quite a long one so for catering purposes for a home that size of course you want something very big mille oven mille um, microwave and a coffee machine that's an absolute must just a quick look look at this black marble look at the marbling this is so unique you don't see this often 
the the color this copper color that um, uh, it brings in speaks to the light fixtures and speaks to the luxury now we're stepping through you can see the coffee machine that i mentioned there's even a warmer drawer and belay warmer drawer just under the coffee machine so you can heat up your cups walk-in pantry and something they've done here that you start seeing a lot more often in luxury upmarket homes is a separation of the laundry room and the scullery section. We've just walked through the scullery section and now we've got the laundry room here. So you don't mix dishes and ironing. And then a door here leads to the back um, courtyard that has two staff quarters and the bathroom. And there's also an outside bathroom for um, you know, maybe people who work in the space or even, um, you know, for your kids when they're running straight from the swimming pool. Thoughts so far? Marusha, like you said at the start, we've done this one at dusk, but it was unfurnished. Now this time around, it is always amazes and it blows my mind how much of a difference it can make to see a property completely furnished and actually homely, whereas an empty, just finished property, unfurnished, is, is yeah has its limitations let's put it this way but look at the clever use of the beams and the beams also designate each room as its own so the room you're standing in has those beams basically designating it as the cocktail lounge area and then where i'm standing if you look behind me you've got the three lines of beams it just draws your eye down into the corridor and that is also replicated with uh, the black tile that they've incorporated in the space so very um, geometrical and very graphic and dramatic colors and use of uh, finishes here now back to the entrance hall where we started quick look down look at that floor now here we've got the herringbone effect on the tile and it's just something different another texture to your right here it's a beautiful wallpaper in a 3d effect and almost feels like a textile wallpaper so this is where you display your beautiful art and now a quick step outside this is in the actual entrance where all your guests will come through massive triple volume space another very dramatic double door gate opening into the space and the strip lights uh, they, uh, basically showing you where the stairs are making sure you don't trip but also bringing in the beauty of the space with spotlights along the entire corridor that you're walking through and all of that is covered so you're completely protected from the elements now we before we head for upstairs because we're going to end in the garden which is the third level a quick look to the um, into the guest toilet another very interesting wallpaper i absolutely love toilets that bring in um, colorful and fun wallpaper because you can sit and count the leaves instead of going through facebook posts did you notice that basin that uh, backlit marble stone effect as well as the tap and the very very beautiful choice of mirrors love it now this house has everything so of course it has a massive office this is currently hobby room display room space for a huge desk space for even another seating table and the view of that courtyard that we spoke about and through that courtyard into the dining room and straight down into that magnificent garden that we're going to enjoy shortly awesome very very nice Musha. i love the flow everything is nice and open big windows big open spaces and what is beautiful about it is you have the glass and the custom made black framing but look at the design on this glass so again it brings you a 3d element but it also keeps the inside of the office completely private so if you're having a meeting a business meeting it's private now let's head up and uh, we're going to see this also heading into the garden but look at this uh, railing how often do you see this kind of custom made railing that goes up all the way into the staircase floating staircase the black marble as well as uh, backlit and light strips throughout 
another beautiful light fixture. This is so airy, it, it's like floating. It's really stunning. And now we get a closer look of the light fitting that is above the dining room as well. Here, we actually have almost a double volume space. We're now on the third floor of this property. But look at the height again. They've brought in some exposed beams as well against the white ceiling, another contrasting element. Double doors, extra height, extra wide. And now we're bringing again that herringbone entrance, the same as the entrance that uh, we saw at the beginning of the house. And now we've stepped into the main bedroom. And because this is not fully furnished, just to put it in perspective, the bed will end about here. So you have a massive space here for a TV lounge setup, as well as space maybe for a dressing table and so on. And from there, another glimpse out into the garden from your own private balcony. The sheer size of this. Last time there was a wall completely cutting this off and yet now look at the size of this one guys and for a home of, with six bedrooms of course you imagine big families big parties you can park easily 30 40 vehicles inside here so imagine how the scope of the entertainment that's always top of my mind now before we step out walk-in closet and this one also incorporates the tinted glass the charcoals and a touch of wood for your shoes, beautifully furnished again, and then across another closet. So we have two closets, plenty of space, I would say, although, you know, don't take it as a challenge. I'm sure you can always fill it up with more. The shoes for in some people's cases. Whatever the case may be, as needed. <laughs> some people need a lot of shoes. And now we step into the full bathroom, and here again, we see another luxurious tile that they've chosen. This is a beautiful marble tile, again with this copper gold colors that speaks also to your brushed gold or brushed brass fixtures, the taps, the freestanding bath overlooking the garden, the massive double showers, and a touch of wood just to make it a little bit softer as well. Stunning, very impressive main bedroom suite. All of the rooms we've seen have air cons, of course, but being in Pretoria, you get, you know, you get very airy feelings. So it can get a bit warm. So the air cons are quite helpful. Now we've stepped into the pajama lounge upstairs and what they've done is a little kitchenette set up here. You've got the same uh, finishes as in the kitchen. So the countertop is that leather effect countertop with a touch of that same uh, black marble and what they've brought in here is uh, bamboo wallpaper so yet another textures brought in here and then we're stepping into the tv room and i just want to point out double volume here as well so being an ultra modern home they've also you know you've got some of the exposed uh, um, concrete ceiling just to basically show you the corridor which is the the same as the one downstairs and then on both sides, you have the normal closed ceilings. So another bringing of the textures. Look at that staircase, look at the view. Stunning. Bedroom number two. And you'll notice the spare bedrooms, kids' bedrooms, whatever you want to call them, are pretty much a size of a main bedroom. Look at that. So this is where your bed will end. And this is all lounge. Massive cupboard space. The exposed beams and the high ceiling here, the ceilings are super high. The reason why in an empty room you're not hearing the echo is because we have this soft plush carpet. And then a bathroom, very luxurious again. Here we have gray marble and we have the uh, the, the black taps, so a different bathroom. And this bedroom has its own balcony. And I think this balcony is crying out to have a um, treadmill here or something. It's like a deep balcony. So I would say an open air gym, um, gym area. I agree. 
Guys, what do you think so far? Quite an impressive entertainer's home in Waterkloof. And of course, here we are in the heart of Waterkloof proper. We are literally a few minutes walking distance from the village, which is the hottest going out destination. And even us folk that don't live in Pretoria, we drive here because it is such a cool venue to, to go out and explore different restaurants and different entertainment options. Whilst I'm talking, we've now walked up to bedroom number three, another massive bedroom. This one has its own kitchenette. So imagine a teenager or a guest that just never wants to leave. So you make them cook for themselves. Bathroom as well. This one is also a different bathroom, different look and feel. And again, another massive bedroom. One of the walls is full window wall. We've got the high ceilings again. And what's a clever design here is this bedroom also has its own entrance right from the entrance where, where the house starts uh, practically. So from a garage, you can walk up the staircase and go up this bedroom as well. So it can be completely private. Of course, no one would imagine Airbnb being a space in that house, but for a guest or a family member, very private space, very, very nice. Very nice. I like the fact that there's a separate access just from this corridor down here. There you have it. The two doors that you're looking at is the doors to the garages and right next to them is a door to a storeroom and the door leading to the staircase for this bedroom. And now we're stepping into bedroom number four we're seeing so far. Now we see this beautiful window and this bedroom is pretty much a mirror image of the one we've just been. There's another thing about this house is it's a very symmetrical house and I think that's why it also flows so nicely because everything you know is mirrored on either side. Here we have a different look and feel. This is a more moody, darker, more cozier bathroom. So, so far every single bedroom you have seen is en suite and that's how it's going to be. And back down a couple of steps again very very nice lighting that they've uh, placed just along the staircase especially if you're waking up in the middle of the night and you want to uh, you get the munchies and now we're stepping into bedroom number five same ceiling this bedroom has a view of the courtyard this one has a walk-in closet and again its own bathroom this bathroom is finished in gray tones all of the bedrooms the soft plush carpet that we saw but what's nice is the fiber this is uh, carpet but it's not very fibrous so for those that are worried about allergies or asthma absolutely this this carpet is the perfect one to have and uh, you can walk barefoot throughout the year very nice we've done the upstairs we've seen five massive bedrooms a beautiful pyjama lounge, a kitchenette by the pyjama lounge, a kitchenette by the one bedroom, and uh, uh, very consistent elements walk, going throughout the entire space. And now we're gonna head back into the middle floor and heading for the massive garden. I love this, this is so nice, so modern. And I mean, just your eyes immediately drawn to the water feature that we're going to see now, as well as that floor to ceiling glass window. Again, custom made black window frame. And this changes to rectangular from the square. And now we're stepping into another entertainment space. So we've seen upstairs one, in the middle floor two and now we're into a fourth one this one is huge there's a wine cellar set up right across from where you are on your left hand side under the staircase they've utilized the space there of course a wine cellar can grow further into the under the staircase and we have a huge lounge and these massive doors that are literally double volume if you were to look up these are all sliding doors seamlessly drive us into the covered outdoor patio area gas and wood burning 
braai as well as a basin and a storeroom space there. Very nice. Talk about entertaining haven. Absolutely. And this is such a striking house that I can absolutely safely say this is the most unique house in Waterkloof. And uh, the, the happy, lucky owner of it will really have one of a kind. And I would personally buy all the furniture because what I find is with an ultra modern house like this, you want the softness with the furniture. So the, the choice of furniture with the different colors and elements is really spectacular. So you, you have a covered patio area, you have an open area, but the tree frames it very nicely and it gives you a bit of the shade. You have this uh, swimming pool with the beautiful water feature. And what's built into the pool is all these steps. So it's your tanning steps or your cocktail steps in there. And now we have bedroom number six. Or what I would have uh, probably done with the space is I would have turned this into a gym. An art studio. I mean, the, the options are really endless here. It has an ensuite bathroom with a shower. I was going to say, imagine being a guest here. Oh, mind you, with that view, you might even actually gym, you know, because uh, usually those indoor gyms, uh, home gyms turn into white elephants or big elephants, whatever it's called. Now we've got the boma. This boma under this magnificent, massive tree. Space for lots of your guests. Make a nice big fire here, bonfire. And there's the expanse of the garden. Last time we saw it, it was literally ending where the swimming pool ends. So now we've got all this space. If you have children, they can run around, completely private, framed by all the trees. Really stunning. Let me have a quick peek as well here, once again. Up close, so I love this. Look at the height of this patio, covered patio, as well as the lounge immediately adjacent to it. Spilling over. How inviting. Guys, which has been your favorite part? And I mean, from here, you can see the house is so striking, really, with uh, these huge windows, very tall windows. You can see the balcony from your main bedroom. I love the fact that they've saved all these trees because the trees themselves are bringing such an interesting element to, to this whole structure. Arusha, this is a gorgeous setup. You can put a soccer pitch here, or you can go wild if you are into landscaping. I'll turn around here, guys, but I'm not sure the camera actually catches all of this. And I think they've just popped on. But look at these. At night, the entire wall surrounding the property. How awesome is that? As always, questions, viewing requests, Marusha's email, phone number are below. If you're interested in any more information about this entertainer's home in Waterkloof proper, make sure to reach out or drop a comment and we'll take care of you there. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Marusha, as always, a pleasure. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.